Hello, it's Paul Green FPS, and today we're talking about the handguns for Shit Hits the Fan. We're doing a top 8 countdown, the 8 best handguns that I suggest for Shit Hits the Fan, and these are my opinions, but I definitely look into these top 8 pistols for Shit Hits the Fan. Coming in at number 8 is the Glock 17. It's a 9mm, has a 17 round magazine, it's extremely lightweight, reliable, it's rugged, there's no thumb safeties that can be a plus or it could be a negative depending on how you are. Uh, with concealed carry, I want something with a thumb safety because if I'm shoving it in my pants, yeah, I want a thumb safety on it. So uh, if it's more in a duty holster, uh, it's not as bad because it does have some safety features that are really good, but more of a duty aspect of it. But this is the FNX 45, it comes in at 45 ACP. And this is the number seven, by the way, with a 15 round magazine. It's wide, but it shoots very good. Um, the large safety thumb lever is very easy to just flick with your thumb. And it's a very reliable pistol. And the 15 rounds that it holds in this magazine of 45 ACP is the largest on the market. Now coming in at number six is a CZ P09. It's a nine millimeter. Holds 19 rounds in the magazine, which plus one in the chamber equals 20. And again, this is another one that is the highest round count in the magazine on the market for 9mm. And it's safety, it can be the safety, or you can also switch it out. It comes with a decocker only. So you can either put a decocker on there, or you could leave it with the safety on there. Whatever it may be, it is a good to go pistol. I love this pistol. Very good. Very awesome. 9mm handgun. Coming in at number 5 is the Easy 9. And I also include this with the CZ 999. And it's a 9mm. It's a 15 round magazine. It's a little heavy for its size. But it's very reliable. Very accurate. And all metal construction is makes it even more rugged. And I really like all metal handguns. But that's just a personal preference. Coming in number four on the list is the PX4 Breda Storm. It's nine millimeter. There's a 15 and a 17 round magazine. Um, it's very accurate and it points really straight for me. It's one of my more favorite handguns, but you'll see why in this countdown that I got other favorite handguns for this scenario. Now we're working our way to another Breda, the M9, or also we're gonna add in the 92FS It'll be in the same category. This is number three. And it's a uh, 15 and 17 round magazines. Um, it's really heavy. The low recoil is due to the weight, though, so it's kind of a plus and a negative. Um, it's very accurate if you get a good, reliable, pretty much new one. But the mill syrups, there, they kind of get deteriorated over time. And it's very reliable due to that open slide. Coming in at number two, this is the AK pistol. You guys are gonna say I'm cheating? This ain't really a pistol, but according to the ATF, it is. So we're gonna go with it. Uh, the 545 by 39 or 762 by 39, 30 round mags. It's through history been a very reliable um, platform, very reliable action. And like I said, it's kind of cheating, but it is considered a pistol. So, now, going on to number one, I'm a little biased the AR pistol. Uh, it comes at 556 slash 223. There's also other calibers out there. I'm just listing the major calibers in this video, I'm not going to go over every single one. It uh, functions off a 30 round magazine, that's pretty much the standard. And again, this is kind of cheating, so you guys can just have to get over it. The ergonomics and customizability makes this my number one pick on the list. Now the ergonomics and customizability makes this number one on my list. Very easy to customize, a lot of parts, and a good to go pistol for shit hits the fan.